Okay everybody, I'd like to talk to you about adverts. And in particular, adverts that are aimed at women. Now I've chosen three adverts in particular that I find are equally and ultimately more stupid than every other advert I've ever seen. Number one is the Special K adverts. Yes, apparently, if you if women eat special K, it makes them thinner. Yeah. Well, if eating special K makes you thinner, then surely you'd be led to believe that if you ate lots of special K, you'd be even more thinner. But you wouldn't. You'd be fatter. Now, what's so special about special K? I mean, cereal's a cereal. I mean shredded wheat could probably make you thinner so what's so special about special K I haven't I've had this called special K and then we've got the equally pointless Tampax Pearl adverts yes in particular the recent one of the model doing a photo shoot and mother nature walked in and says I brought you a monthly gift, you know, your period. And I think you better stop shooting right now. You know, that one, yeah. Well, that's, you know, that's basically saying that when a woman gets a period, she's got to interrupt her life for seven days because while she's on a period, she can't do for all. That's you what I have to say. And not just that, but there's the way Mother Nature says the word period, she sort of goes, period, you know, in a quiet period, sort of way, you know, as though it's something to be embarrassed about. So for however many years it is that you have regular period, you've got to feel very embarrassed about it. It happens to all women every fucking month. Yeah, every month. So as long as it goes, every woman has got to feel embarrassed about it. Mm. And the further question it raises is, what makes Tampax Pearl so much better than the last Tampax thing? I mean, uh, the last one that Tampax made apparently stops 99 or however many it is percent more leakages. Surely the whole point of the very first tampon was it stopped leakages. So where can you stop more leakages if it stops all leakages anyway? Just for you to buy a new product, basically that one. And the third and final advert is one in tedious, stupid little affairs. Like you'll have a group of women on an advert who are sat in a cafe. And they'll be talking about constipation or pain when they piss. Yeah. I mean, and like it'll be something like door curries or Benny. Yeah. Well, I, I can honestly say when I've been in cafes and things, I've never heard small groups of women sat around the table talking about the fact that they get constipated a lot. Or have trouble with their pissing. Because it just doesn't happen. And I think it's, I mean, obviously I'm not a woman. So I don't know what a woman's point of view on this would be. But I think it's stupid. I mean, how many women do you know actually go to a cafe with their friends and then sit there talking about constipation in the middle of a cafe? And why should women have to feel embarrassed about their periods? And why should we bombard women with cereals that apparently make them thinner? And Activia yogurts that apparently make them feel better? I mean, a yogurt's a yogurt. I mean, there's another one of this woman eating a yogurt. And then she has a Activia yogurt or something. But the word on the other, it says, 
I just took normal nettles, but they tasted disgusting. Don't fucking eat them then. Mmm. These hens you've been eating yogurts for months and months and months, and they taste awful, but she still carried on eating them. I mean, that's the way to sell the new that yogurt to women. Now, when they sell something to men, that's easy. Because mainly, all you have to do to get us to buy something is associate it with football, associate it with uh, motor racing, or associate it with half-dressed naked women. Half-dressed naked women? Sorry, half-dressed or naked women. So, really, it's quite easy to make our things from there. But I think if we're going to advertise things for women, we really need to get a woman's perspective on the things you're advertising. I mean, I know you get these adverts where they've apparently done a survey and they ask a few women on the advert about the point. But you tell that they're just actors and they've been told what to say, you know, they've been off a script. I reckon they should get out there and ask real women, real, normal, everyday women, like whichever women might be reading, uh, watching this video, and probably a lot of men are going to watch this as well. But, you know. And this is just ask you what you want to see in an advert about a product that's aimed at you. Because, no, I don't know this for sure, but I don't think that a woman wants to buy a product if it's been in an advert with a group of people discussing constipation in the cafe. I know I certainly would buy it if I was a woman. I think the patronising is new. But yes, it's also slightly sexist. Is it good right? It's not quite politically correct, is it? Or maybe it is politically correct, I don't know. Maybe that's why it's such a big problem. But certainly the one about your period. Now, apparently it's a big embarrassing thing that you should be embarrassed about for seven days. You're a bad woman because you're under period. You know, that sort of way they talk to you about it. That's just terrible. And it's going to happen to you every month for about, what, 30 years-ish? No, no. Depends on the woman, is not it? So apparently for those 30 years or whatever, you've got to feel embarrassed every month for seven days because you're under period. And you've got to rush out and buy all these stupid little tampon things just because they're new and because they're on an advert telling you to buy them. But then again, how can you rush out and buy them? You know? If apparently when you're on your period you can't do anything. So that advert's a bit contradictory as well, isn't it? So I can't say contradictory, a bit uh, politically incorrect now, isn't it? That's slightly sexist. But it's got the word dick in it. <laughs> yeah. As you can probably tell, I hate political correctness. I think you can stuff political correctness in the aforementioned location with considerable vigour. <laughs> Sorry, I saw that off a phone. He's a woman, so yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'd love to know what she thinks about this. You know? Uh, I doubt she'd ever sat in a cafe with a group of friends discussing the fact that she gets constipated or not. Or has uh, trouble in pissing. Or even has a weak bladder. I mean, that's another one. There's one of a group of women discussing the fact they've got weak bladders. And it just makes you a little bit pissed off about that. It's not just that, it's all adverts. They're getting increasingly stupid, aren't they? I mean, and you can't beat the old funny advert, you know, like um, soft mints, uh, fruit pastels, you know, hoots, man, there's juice, loose, about this, who's <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think like, um, KFC variety bucket. Here's a what is that on your head? <sighs> yeah. And I want some kosher. A little kosher. 
When I wake up in the morning, I'm still asleep. I really don't want no toilet. You know, you can't beat them old uh, funny adverts and song adverts and shit. But adverts now are just getting a bit too daft. Who comes up with this shit? Oh, admit that, that from the impossible dream to do with Honda cars. Fucking brilliant. Well, I think I've got some feeling about adverts. And in particular, adverts aimed at women. And I'd love to hear your comments on this situation. And that was the second episode of the Adverts Points of View. Brilliant. And good night.